Man, it has been a while since I've done one of these, but don't worry, I've got four of these planned now, so it's good to be back. Be sure to subscribe and follow me on these social media platforms. Yo there, dudes and dudettes, your friendly neighborhood Jack Split here with another episode of Would That Work Out, where I use my knowledge of personal training and fitness science to analyze whether a fictional character's routine would actually work if you attempted it in real life. In today's episode, we are covering one of my personal favorite characters in all of fiction, the manga character, Kanichi Shirahama. From the anime series Kenichi the Mightiest Disciple or the Mightiest Disciple Kenichi our ultimate disciple. It has so many different names okay you know what just call it Kenichi. I just call it Kenichi. I love Kenichi so much that in December I actually made a Tough Like the Tunes workout program for him so you can try it out after this and get that nice sexy summer body like Kenichi does. Dude has three busty beautiful women who love him so train hard my folks. Now our main pro tag, Kenichi Shirahama, started off as this average, scrawny high school kid being bullied who was lucky enough to cross paths with the beautiful Miyu Ferengi, who took him to her home which housed some of the most incredible masters of martial arts and fitness there ever was. I keep getting envious of this man. There he met Akasame, the philosophical jujitsu master, Kensei Ma, the preferred kung fu master, Shio Saki, the 100 degree street fighter and karate master. Apachai, the Muay Thai god of death, and the sexy, fine ass maiden of weapons, Shigure Kosaka. You can chain me up any day, Shigure. I know how that sounds, but I still don't care. And they are all led by the crowned invincible Superman, Hayato Ferengi, Mew's grandfather, master of multiple martial arts. Hell, if you're familiar with Baki the Grappler, think of him like the Ujira Hanma of this series. Matter of fact, I wonder who would take that. Kenichi is taken under as a disciple to all the teachers there and begins training his frail body into one monstrously strong built man. You make my girlhood tremble. Now there are many different forms, styles, and training methods shown in Kenichi the Midas Disciple for a variety of characters, but I really just want to focus on Kenichi taking his body from here to here. I would mention how he looks at the very end of the series, but that was shown in the flash forward and all we really saw was a very muscular form. And since I know my man ain't single anymore, that headcanon got shot down. Or up. But anyways, at the end of the series, we can guesstimate he's around the same size as Sakaki, the Elder, and Apachai. Now, on to the training. Ryu's and Paku's workout regimen is one of hellish, rigorous effort that's going to push you far beyond your limits. From martial arts training with several different monstrously powerful masters, strength and conditioning resistance exercises, mastering your key. What? You do know DBZ didn't invent key, right? Cardiovascular conditioning to push your heart and lungs to really maximize your VO2 oxygen uptake, and flexibility training to make one swift as a coursing river and hit with the force of a great typhoon. He became the truest definition of a mixed martial artist. Kenichi did this for roughly five to six days a week at first, and then as he became more conditioned, began training like this daily. Now in my One Punch Man and Batman Would That Work Out videos, I talked in depth about overtraining and how our bodies can actually go further than we thought possible if we actually follow the three-leg stool of fitness religiously. And also I talked about the dangers of frying your central nervous system in those videos, so from pushing yourself way too hard, so be sure to check those out after this. Kenichi, a teenager 16 to 17 years old, followed this protocol because he wanted to become strong enough to protect himself from a bully, but then it evolved to protect those he cared for. On his first day, he had to hold a horse dance while holding weighted jars with blades strapped to his body to keep him from letting his arms down, tea on his head and knees, and a candle spike under his butt. He had to hold this for an indefinite amount of time before going on a three mile run with a tire and Akasami on his back whipping him the entire time to run faster. Me personally, I could never do this. Could you imagine me running down the street with someone on my back I call Master whipping me? Yeah, uh... Don't beat me, Master! Please don't beat me, Master! So. Shit ain't flying. Now if you're a complete beginner and attempted this, you would have acute muscle soreness and ridiculous doms the next day. And for people who don't know what delayed onset muscle soreness is, this happens when we work out and we cause micro tears in the muscle fibers and build up lactic acid from strenuous exercise. Though to be honest, I've been starting to see conflicting studies on this. But as I've mentioned before, these micro tears with proper recovery and nutrition allow the muscles to grow and become stronger. And Lord knows Kenichi's ass was worked the first day, but not too bad as he could still move and continue training on the following. So we can tell from the get-go, Kenichi's got some pretty good genetics for recovery right there, since the 
average person would have trouble getting out of bed the next day. And the fact he was able to run decently fast while carrying the 80 kilo Akesame, 176 pounds for my American friends out there, for a few miles is just impressive. Most impressive. But another thing Kenichi had when starting off was good old fashioned newbie gains. Now I went really in depth with newbie gains in the My Hero Academia Deku Would That Work Out video, so I'll briefly summarize it here. Newbie gains is something I've noticed firsthand growing up and also from younger clients of mine. If you're consistent with your training, you make substantial gains over the course of the first few months of your training. When you're a complete beginner as a teenager, you can build muscle and burn fat at the same time for your training, which is incredibly difficult later on in life and you have to pick phases to bulk up and phases to get cut if that is your main goal for like aesthetics because the other way to build muscle and lose fat at the same time is with help. Now over the course of the series we see Kenichi gradually start developing a well muscled physique similar to Bruce Lee and Akasame as well and it makes sense that his body is a byproduct from all the insane training he's been putting it through. Now of course just because you train hard doesn't necessarily mean you'll get a body shredded out of marble as you gotta focus on your diet and rest just as much but Kenichi's teenager physique trained his muscle fibers similar to his main sensei Akasame and Akasame is one of the strongest masters Kenichi has and one of the most chiseled but you wouldn't know it from looking at him just because you see him in traditional garbs. He's said to have built his body entirely out of pink muscle fibers which has made him incredibly strong for his scrawny size. Well since Kenichi trained like this for a brief period of time before he hulked up, let's talk about muscle fibers. Now there are three types of muscle found in the body, cardiac, smooth, and skeletal. Now for this we'll be primarily focusing on skeletal muscle because the other two you don't have any control, they activate by themselves. Skeletal muscle you actually have conscious control over, so it actually helps you move your bones and you're able to just move your arms up and down. Now there are three muscle fiber types, red slash slow, aka type 1 muscle fibers, red slash fast, aka type 2A muscle fibers, and white slash fast, aka type 2B, type 2X muscle fibers. Type 1 are slow twitch muscle fibers which are resistant to high fatigue. These ones let you stay active for long periods of time for activities like walking and casual jogging. They use a steady amount of oxygen consumption to keep you going. Type 2A are moderately fast twitch muscle fibers which use a combination of oxygen and glucose as the main forms of energy to keep you going. Remember as I said many times before in other videos that running does not use fat as its primary fuel to keep you going. That's what we have here. These muscle fibers are used during cardio bouts where you're really working your heart and lungs. So running, swimming laps, moderate jump rope, etc. But these muscle fibers aren't as fatigue resistant as their predecessor, hence one of the reasons why you start to get gassed after a while while doing them. And finally we come to type 2B or type 2X and these are the fast twitch muscle fibers. These ones are big and white because of the lack of oxygen in them and these have the most amount of force during their contractions. These muscle fibers are nowhere near as fatigue resistant as the other two fibers so. That's why they are used in bursts. For example, sprinting is actually an anaerobic exercise because it's such a short fast burst movement that you're not able to use oxygen as fuel fast enough. You actually have to use glucose from foods you consume throughout the day that has been stored in your muscles as glycogen. These fibers are primarily used while weight training. Now Akasame has trained his body to develop a combination of them all called pink muscle fibers. And since Kenichi for the majority of the series was a small lean athletic strong guy like his sensei before he hulked out as an adult, we can take a look and analyze this. Now the theory behind this is that you must be able to move heavy weights in high repetitions over long periods of time, such as being able to lift weights continually non-stop at a fast pace for 3-5 to five minutes. The individual wouldn't get swole necessarily, but would still have incredible amounts of strength, speed, endurance, and that would all be very helpful for most situations. Theoretically speaking, if you start with lightweight, and I mean light lightweight, and practice an exercise with high reps continually for years while following the three leg stool of fitness religiously and making sure the form was perfect and just gradually increasing weight and the length of time you were doing it, then you could possibly attain some real world equivalent without straining yourself. But that is just like, it's not, a, we're not an action anime manga in real life, but it's one of those things like, you never know, like everything is hypothetical until you apply it to yourself. And remember like I always, 
always say everybody is different and reacts differently. So you may get better results while someone ends up, you know, hurting themselves, but always stay safe. Also, depending on your genetics, you may be more predisposed to a certain muscle fiber type. Some people can run longer than others and some are faster and put on muscle differently. For example, I am predisposed to having more fast twitch muscle fibers, which help me jump good and have diesel ass legs. So you can find out what you are just by getting to know your body through your own personal training. It's called personal training because it's personal to you. I actually did a video on if it was better to be a strong buff guy or a strong lean dude, so check it out when you get the chance. Now, Kenichi trained his ass off in various different ways from calisthenics, strongman training, martial arts drills, testing his cardio, flexibility, and training in nature. He absolutely owned the five components of physical fitness. Now, honestly, any average person would be intimidated to continue training of this kind, but we are neglecting one thing his motivation and his discipline which he could say because he was getting bullied and wanted to become stronger so none guys could kick his ass but we all know the truth it was this fine ass woman right here Kenichi, you dog you were one lucky ass man he had three fine ass tickle bitty women who cared about him deeply but one he absolutely most definitely really cared for was miyu and why wouldn't he She's beautiful, she's kind, incredibly strong, really athletic, and wow, whoa, we were that bod. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, Jax is just joking around here. We all know how much you love your anime titties, but I'm actually not. Real talk, listen up. I want you to think of a time when you had a really massive crush on someone. You were motivated to meet them, wake up earlier, if you could be alone with them and talk to them or be better for them because you thought if you improved yourself, they would notice you, senpai. The majority of folks are guilty of this, working out to impress a girl or just a crush, and if you're asexual, that's completely fine as well. But being motivated because you love someone and want to become the best you can be for them because you think they deserve it is such a common thing. And even though Miu was smitten with him and got actively jealous when other girls hit on him, he still wanted to match her because, let's be honest, she trained just as hard and was a beast in her own right. And the only way they could date, as the Elder said, was if he beat him in battle and this man has never lost and looks like he's freaking Broly's descendant. His own natural testosterone for mating with that woman got him an extra boost with his training, and I ain't even saying that as a joke. So we can low-key assume Kenichi had that in his subconscious for a while, and now he has his beautiful wife and child. You constantly taste the salt. But all in all, will Kenichi the Mightiest Disciples training work? On a toned-down level with plenty of rest and proper nutrition? Damn straight. It's rigorous and tough, but can help you build a strong, lean body just like Kenichi has. And if you have a big, boo, beautiful woman training with you, it works even better. But that was my Would That Work Out for the Mightiest Disciple, Kenichi. My friends out there, I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something. And if you did enjoy this video and would like to help me create more videos like this, then why not stop past my Patreon, where you can see a ton of great helpful rewards as gratitude for helping me out. And I'm incredibly appreciative of all of you for helping me keep these up. I just love making them and it just I love researching them. I love just going back and rewatching some of my favorite series and looking at them with my personal training knowledge now. Like, thank you all so much. If you'd like to follow me on any social media, be sure to check out those links below. And remember, like I always say, keep calm, booyah on, and don't forget, moment tie. Hope you enjoyed this video and go train hard. Hopefully I'll find my own Mew someday. My puppy wants to say hi, so say hi to the camera, Bo. He just ran in here during my mid-reading, so there you guys go. Rambo, you know better.